All right, in this video, we're gonna look at how to import audio into Soundtrap on an iPad. There are a few reasons you might wanna do this. Maybe you've already got something recorded in voice memos, or you have sounds or loops from another program that you wanna import into Soundtrap. It's pretty easy. Uh, you basically will pull up Soundtrap, say add new track, import file, and then choose files. And now let me show you that on the iPad and show you what that looks like. So here I am in Soundtrap and I can go to add new track. I can say import file and then I can choose files. So I already have this saved in my iPad files folder. I'm gonna pull in this test file right there. If you already have this file saved in your iPad file system, that's it. But in case you have it in voice memos and are not sure how to get it into your file system, let's look at that. So here I am in voice memos. Recently I recorded this little test memo. And if I go up to the top and click this share button, I can share it and say save to files. And then I'll put it in this folder called test folder. Hit save and now it's saved. So once you've saved it, to your file system in voice memos. You can come in here, do the same process, add new track, import file, choose files, and then say browse. And then usually it'll show up in your recents folder. You can see recent files right here and I can select test memo from right there. And that's it. That's how you can import an audio file from your file system on an iPad. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit subscribe so you can stay up to date with all our new tutorials and videos.